Hi, let us understand what is Vault. Vault is a tool for securely storing and accessing the secrets. What is a secret? Secret, it could be anything like API keys, passwords, certificates, which needs to be stored in a secure way and access to that particular secrets needs to be tightly controlled. Vault provides unified interface to any secrets that are getting stored within it and it provides tightly controlled access for all the secrets that are stored within it as well as it's going to record all the detailed audit log on who is accessing and what type of secret was provided to what application and who will be having access to what period to what period. It provides access to multitudes of secrets like storing them, rolling them as well as what type of encryption to use while storing it and what policy to be applied while providing the authentication as well as authorization and it provides wide range of integration with varieties of secret engines, plugins as well as storage provider and it provides a detailed audit log and telemetry option to record who accessed and how the access was granted. It facilitates storing and access to the secrets to the external services through API as well as it provides credentials for service oriented architecture as well as container services to generate the secrets dynamically and provide the dynamic secrets. As we discussed, secrets could be anything like username, password, tokens, application or database credentials, authentication, authorization tokens, policies, TLS certificates, certifying authority who is going to issue the TLS certificates dynamically as well as raising and accepting the CSR that is certifying signing request public and private key all this needs to be stored in a secure way don't worry about the terminologies that I am using over here we are going to have detailed discussion about each and every concept that we are discussing we are having a quick overview to get started quickly and we will be having detailed discussion about each and every concept so all this particular secret needs to be stored somewhere like a plain text file or it needs to be embedded as a part of the source code or some configuration files and finally that will land up as part of version control systems like git or manually that needs to be encrypted when i am doing that the question about who is going to own that particular file and whether that will be specific to an application or it needs to be stored in a centralized location and how that access will be granted who is going to store and who is going to own that particular encrypted file or the secrets and for how much duration. If the employee quits the organization, how that particular secrets will be retrieved from that particular employee, all such questions needs to be answered. As well as whether the secret stored as a part of the version control file or the configuration file, whether it is the latest one or at what interval it needs to be rotated, is there any other copy stored for the backup purpose, whether that is updated, all such complex questions needs to be answered. And the application is going to use this particular secret by some means either through API and the system which is storing the secrets, again that needs to be secured. Also, when the application is being used, I may have a set of secrets and an application might be using it. The similar way, I may have another set of secrets for another application. Some applications may group together to use a common secret. So all such complexities keeps on increasing when I am having more number of applications. That's where the need for maintaining the secrets in a centralized location arises. That's where Vault comes into picture. Whenever I am having the secrets of all the application in a centralized location that needs to be secured and access control needs to be tightly maintained. And Vault provides all such features where I'm going to have the secrets in a centralized location and everything will be encrypted and it provides n number of built-in as well as custom storage option. Based on the need, we can use any of the storage options as well as it can plug into any infrastructure, even n number of cloud environments as well as on-premise cloud environment. It gets plugged in very easily. And I can have a strong access control list against the vault in terms of how to encrypt the data, who can access and how it can be accessed. And it has very good audit facility where it's going to have the complete details on who accessed it 
and what type of access was provided, when it was provided, when it was rotated, all such details it's going to maintain. As well as it provides encryption in transit. Whenever it is going to provide the data, it can encrypt the data and provide the facility of encryption in transit. And all the applications within the organization as well as applications running across the organizations can make use of this particular vault. This is just a quick overview on where what going to fit in and what type of facility and features it's going to provide. Again, let me remind you all, don't worry about the terminologies that I have used over here. We are going to have a detailed discussion and in the next few sessions, we will install vault and get started so that we can understand each and every concept in a practical way.